In this video, I'll show you how to set a maximum limit on a number of products a customer can purchase in your WooCommerce store. So for example, if you sell handmade products or if you're doing a limited run, or even if you sell tickets, then you might want to limit the number of products that one customer can purchase on your WooCommerce store. If this sounds like you, let's get straight into it. Okay, so for example, on this particular store, I've created a monthly limit that customers can only purchase three of the same item in any given month, okay? So each month that limit will reset. So for example, let's go ahead and test this out. So let's say we wanted to purchase this particular t-shirt here. Okay, so now add two items to our basket. It should check out fine since the limit is set to three. So we can purchase two of this t-shirt and then once we've reached our limit i've actually set it to just remove the add to cart button you can just hide the product altogether as well if you wanted so let's purchase this okay now let's click back onto this particular product okay so since we've purchased two items already here it's informing us that we can only purchase a maximum of three of this particular product and it's saying that we've already purchased two so now we can add one to our basket, which we've done here, but it's not allowing us to add any more. All right, so if you want to implement a similar system on your WooCommerce store, I'll leave the link in the description below to the particular plugin we'll be using. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. So this video is based on this particular article here. So if you want to follow along with the written version, I'll leave the link in the description below. And with that being said, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is navigate over to plugins and then add new. We'll go ahead and search for maximum products per user and we'll install this particular plugin here. Let's activate. Okay, and now we'll navigate over to WooCommerce and then at settings and now we'll click on maximum products per user. Okay, so it's automatically enabled itself, which is fine. Okay, now we need to choose the mode. So we can select from product quantities, product order, Product prices, excluding or including taxes, maybe the product weight or even the product of volumes. Okay, we'll say product quantities. Okay, so we just need to customize the order status here. So for example, you can base this limit on a completed purchase, whether the, they've got an order already in place, which are on hold, whether it's processing or a few of these other statuses. Okay, okay, so we can disable the add to cart button once the limit has been met by the current user. And we can also set a maximum value for the product in a quantity field as well, based on the current limit. So we can also count the variation as a quantity as well it will apply to all products and on a per product calculation we can set this limit um, for different user role okay so we can have uh, we can set the limit um, differently for admin for guest users and so on or we can just leave it disabled so it will apply to all user role we can also hide products which exceeds the limit that's super handy and in here we can specify the date range so we can do it um, based on the lifetime purchase of a customer so for example we can say you can only purchase um, five of this particular item indefinitely okay or we can do it monthly or any of these criteria here so for example i'm just going to do it um, monthly so each month we'll set a limit um, of how many products a customer can purchase or we can use a fixed date as well let's go ahead and hit save changes okay so once you've made certain changes for example here it's prompting us to actually recalculate our sales data if we click on this open up a new tab and then we just need to go ahead and recalculate the sales data all right so now let's head over to limits Okay, and then we want to enforce this limit on all products. If you wanted to only enforce it on products with a particular tag or category, then you do need a pro version for this. Okay, so we can say free items. Okay, so now let's go ahead and test this out on the front end. All right, so let's click on this product, for example. Okay, let's try to add a four. Here you can see it's actually limiting us to only being able to add three of this item to our basket. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out. Let's pay and then let's head back over to the shop page and let's view this product. Okay, here it's actually hiding the add to cart buttons. So we're not even able to purchase this particular product. It's working as it should. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box.